Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. They mean the world to me. This is the weekly forecast starting for Sunday, November 14th through the 20th. It is uh, a flexible reading in the sense that it is for all signs and it is to be used either that week or basically whenever you see it. Each of these cards will represent a day or two of the underpinning energy of the days of the week, and they will be built upon throughout the weekly readings every day. But also, if this reading is making sense to you on a different date when you're listening to it, and the messages are applying to your life, please feel free to use it. If it doesn't make sense to you or sound like anything that you're dealing with currently in your life, that's okay too. You can sort of just leave it where it is. Doesn't mean anything's wrong or broken, you just might be working on something different. Now, just so you know, um, please check out the drop down menu on any of my daily videos. In there is some house rules that I want you to know about, things I want you to think about when utilizing my readings, what decks I'm currently using, how to purchase those decks, how to book a private reading, how to follow me on social media. And please, other ways of um, supporting the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, let them know about me, get the word out, and help me to grow this channel and this community. All right, so let's see what's going on for the week of the 14th through the 20th of November. So in the beginning of the week, we have the King of Swords. Wow. I... This deck is so gotten me moody. It's interesting. I feel like this is us in resistance. And I don't necessarily feel as though the King of Swords up, uh, uh, represents resistance. But I feel like when I'm looking at this card instantly, I feel like we are resisting something. There's something we're not wanting to... It's like we're aware of it, but we're not wanting to weigh in just yet. The King of Swords is going to be that air element. So it's going to be about thoughts and communication. And we're empowered, right, because he is the king. But I feel like it's sort of like we're holding back our opinions in the early part of the week, maybe holding back any decisions or communications, uh, maybe waiting it out, trying to assess the situation, find out if we know everything that's going on prior to making a decision. Ultimately, the King of Swords will make a clear and concise decision at some point. But um, I feel like... Uh, I don't know, I get this distinct hiding in the background feeling from this card. If we find ourselves wanting to sort of disappear or not be counted, um, it's not like we don't want to be heard, but it's like we're holding our opinions to ourselves. And that's not necessarily a King of Swords reading. That's what this card is making me feel, or the message that I feel like that is coming from this card. There may be... Uh, it's almost like we're not even expressing our truth because when I see this, this is his truth that he's holding in his hand. But then he has these other swords out here in the outside world. Like we might be throwing about opinions or ideas that we don't fully believe in. We have it like a secondary plan in the background that we're working with that we're not necessarily giving up just yet. Part of the reason why I feel that not only is it because he's shrouded, his face is shrouded, but also I feel that because he's seated, he feels pulled back in the card. He feels res not restricted, but like, um, like, uh, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like he's, um, chosen to restrain himself in the early part of the week from sharing his thoughts, feelings, or, uh, perceptions of a situation, maybe out of kindness to another, you know, maybe you're, we're trying not to hurt somebody with our, our, impressions of how things are or or our decisions that we've made around something maybe we're withholding until the time is right the next card is the seven of swords seven of swords is the liar cheater stealer card right this is the card where we, usually there's some sort of truth not being told there's a um uh, a betrayal of some sort this is an interesting depiction of this um i'm wondering the heavy load that's on this back, this almost gives me more of a Ten of Wands vibe. But what I feel like is going on here is, is I feel like maybe if somebody has lied to us or we've lied to somebody else or if we're, you know, it's almost with the retraction of that King of Swords. If there's a lie, <laughs> it's 
Sometimes we can lie by omission, right? Where we don't necessarily tell the full story. And so if we're doing that this week through that King of Swords, we're going to be feeling the weight of that by the midweek. That's the Seven of Swords that we're seeing here. We're going to feel like we are maybe having to contend with that dishonesty or with that, um, uh, that choice that we've made as the king. Now, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. For some of you, this could mean that, you know, somebody is betraying you or lying to you or not telling you the complete truth and that's creating a burden upon you, right? But I kind of get this funny feeling because that King of Swords is sort of retracted back. There's something we're not saying that is our truth and that might be, I don't know, like heavy on us by midweek. Let's look at what's going on at the end of the week. Okay. <laughs> end of the week is the Ace of Swords. So... Oh, God, so by the end of the week, we're ready to say it. And when we do say it, big changes are coming. Aces bring new changes, new chapters, big out of the blue, uh, boom, right? Ace of Swords is an affirmative card. It's a truth. It's the truth that this king is holding in the background. It's the truth that we're maybe carrying through the midweek that's feeling heavier and heavier. And finally, maybe by at week's end, we blurt that truth out and we tell them, either how we feel, what we're thinking. Um, but ultimately, I think that the clarity that comes from that is a good thing, but it's going to be our truth, right? And the reason why I get that is because the king is very much, you know, the king, right? He's the authority. So the focus is always on the king. And then the ace is a number one card, which also brings it back to this idea of what is our truth. And we're letting it out of the box, out of the shadows. Um, it, it's dawning a new day even for us, right? We may not know what that day is going to look like or what, <laughs> what's to follow, but to me, it feels like this truth will come out because we can't carry it much longer. We can't, it's like unbecoming of the king to, um, uh, to hold on to it for so long that it does become that burden that is that seven of swords. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if there's somewhere in our lives where we're not being truth, truthful or honest, and this could be, you know, even truthful and honest to ourselves, right? We can think about it in those terms too. It we're, it's going to come to a head, so to speak, and we're going to have to release it by week's end. Once we release it, new doors are open, new opportunities are open. There is a freedom and uh, a change that will take place. We may not know until the following week what that change brings about, but expect this to happen. All of these swords means we are up in our heads this week, in our thoughts, in our minds, mulling things over, maybe stressing out, potentially worrying. Um, and, you know, swords also represents communication, but I kind of get a feeling we're not communicating until we're at the end of the week with that ace. It's like that, only because that seven's in the center and that king feels so sort of like, I don't know, like we're hiding a secret. I, and it's not necessarily a bad secret, right? It's just like, we're not, like the king's almost like sort of sitting there watching for the right time when to release this. Like maybe our secret or what we need to say might hurt another. Not like intentionally, not like, a, you know, not like in an abusive way, but... It could, you know, maybe upset them or something like that is sort of the feeling I'm getting. And, and so this Ace of Swords says to me, sooner or later, we're, it's either us or them kind of thing. And it becomes about us. And we have to come forward with that truth. And that truth comes out of nowhere. For some of you, the only other interpretation I can see this is, is, that, is that Seven of Swords. You are being lied to. The King of Swords could be suspect and aware of that already. You might know that. You might be have a betrayal or a... Uh, somebody in the mix that's not being honest with you, that's stealing from you or lying to you, the truth will come out by the end of the week. You will know that very clearly with the Ace of Swords. It could come out of nowhere. But if this is something that you're holding on to, you will release it by week's end. Now, with the Crow Oracle, we have the word nature. Mm -hmm. I like this because he feels very calm and peaceful amongst not only these uh, little uh, dandelion flowers, but also among the lights above him. And he's being watched by all of the other crows, right? Uh, I feel like this is us being in our, 
in our environment, assessing our environment, similar to how that King of Swords is sitting there waiting, watching. Um, I feel like we're very comfortable where we are, even though that Seven of Swords would indicate maybe a little bit of um, discomfort in the midweek. In the end, we're going to be okay. Nature makes me feel like we're the center of our sort of experience or our um, viewpoint. Does that make sense? And like, I also get a really good feeling from this nature card that things are gonna work out in the end, ultimately, whether we believe they are or not in the early part of the week. Does that make sense? I'm going to read to you nature just because it's a new card. But it's also kind of, to me, it's like how we're connecting to our environment. And in the end, it will all kind of go back, back right, even though it may not feel like that. Nature. When I created this card, I thought about the Ace of Cups in the Tarot. It is the connection to nature that fills our spirit and returns us with, and reunites us with divine energy. Living in space full of co concrete buildings, it can feel as though Mother Nature resides so far away. But she is here in the grass that sprouts up in the cracks of the sidewalk, in the overgrown empty lots, and in, in the birds that mingle with us in the park. All we need to do is look, and, and we will find that connection. Nature asks you to see the evidence of divine energy that is all around you, regardless of the landscape. So regardless of your seven of swords or the reluctance of this king, that nature or that connection is going to bring about this ace of swords, is my feeling, where this truth comes forward. Whether it's from us or from an outside source, it comes forward and it rains the thing. It will benefit us. Guys. Let's look to the grounding stone for the week. And it's on Snowflake Obsidian, and the word is passion. One thing I like about the Snowflake Obsidian, not only does it sort of ward off ne negativity, it's a mixture of black and white. It's a mixture of good and bad. It's a mixture of acceptance and reluctance. You know, it's kind of like an even balance of both represented, right? And I think that the King of Swords analytically can weigh all of that, right? And we can understand and fit in, even in the hard times or in the betrayals, the lies, or whatever that set of swords is in the midweek for us, we can find sort of a, an acceptance around it. We can find, um, and I also feel like with that ace of swords, that will be our truth, and our truth should be our passion, right? What we're passionate about, what means most to us, where we feel most connected, that's what we want to focus on this month or this week. That's what we want to ground in. That's what we want to connect to. That's going to be where our strength is and what will bring about that Ace of Swords. That is your forecast, you guys. Please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, share it out. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow to see how this energy builds. And you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.